Dr. Hoda Elmaragi and her engineering students are looking forward to being first. This will be the first in North America. Uh, it will be the first in any university or educational institute in North America. The engineering professor is talking about the iDesign Studio and iFactory. The state-of-the-art system will be featured in the new Center for Engineering and Innovation. She first saw them at the University of Stuttgart in Germany. It's a complete factory, but fits in a lab. And, uh, and it allows us to not only make things within that factory, but to reconfigure its layout. So if our needs change, if the market needs change in six months, we can reconfigure it. Our research is about actually developing those technologies, the hardware and the software technologies that allow manufacturers in real life to, be, to reconfigure their systems and to be up and running fairly quickly and hence be productive and competitive uh, in the market. The university's first clean room will also be at the CEI. The facility will allow researchers to work in a completely dust-free environment. They will fabricate such things as tiny microchips for sensor devices used for collision avoidance in many of today's vehicles. And these electric motors are some of what Dr. Narayan Carr and his students will be packing when he makes his move to CEI. They are working on maximizing the efficiency of hybrid and electric vehicles and anticipating their CEI lab upgrade after outgrowing their current space. Dr. Carr knows his students will benefit from the move. Because we are able to accommodate more uh, equipment, they would be able to uh, do more hands-on training, plus uh, all these, as you see, would help us enhance our capability to attract uh, bigger industry, to help them develop newer uh, products and uh, students will not only be trained by us, but also by industry as well. Anticipation is building as researchers and students prepare to move to CEI. The first phase is scheduled to be ready in spring 2011.